So these are the diaries of a goat farmer. So this is our new arrival. He arrived on the 25th of December and you might be wondering why he's by himself. So we keep our kids uh, in this section. We don't allow them to leave uh, and go with their mothers for grazing. So we keep them here so that um, we try and keep the environment as clean as possible. And uh, the mother is there. So that when the mother goes to the field and when she's grazing, she then produces enough milk to feed the baby that's there. So our goats, they're looking good. They're looking very healthy. Uh, there's plenty of pasture around. And this is because this is the time of year. So we want to make sure that we always have that condition in our goats. So I'll take you back. Remember in November, we decided to, to till our land so that we could actually plant uh, lucen. So lucen is very high in protein. So it's a very, very good for the crop for goats. So we tilled the land and after we tilled the land, it looked like this. So this was in November. But uh, so we so what then happened was uh, the rains then delayed to come. And now in January, the rains have now come. So we are deciding to actually plant. So what we did is we got some Roundup. Uh, we went into the field and then we sprayed Roundup about two to three days ago. So uh, as you can see, um, we, as you can see that some of the, the wheels are, look like they are wilting away. I'll show you that video. Uh, there's a bit of yellow that you can see there. And here we're actually trying to make a manual planter. So we want to plant in lines and the guys have come up with a clever invention to, to ensure that they are able to, to plant in lines and only just moving that and maintaining the same distance. And they've also come up with a manual planter uh, which I'm going to show you, which is 100% uh, human powered, which is uh, just some uh, innovation that the, the guys at the farm did. So can you see that uh, the, wheel, the weeds, they look a bit yellow, they are wilting away because we went in there now with Roundup. So we sprayed Roundup two to three days ago and we are confident that in the next two to three weeks, all these weeds are going to die and the lucen that we are planting today is going to actually start growing. Uh, we decided not to till the land again, and we just decided to go with it uh, in this method. And I think if you look, uh, that tree looks like it's actually wilting away. So this is what we think will happen. Uh, and remember I said I just want to share with you our journey. So that's the, the manual planter. So uh, it's just an empty two-liter container. You put a lid, and then you put a hole in the lid, and then you put a finger there. And then as you walk, you then decide the seeding rate by, you know, manually opening or closing that hole as you're walking along. So this is how we we are doing it. So as you can see, this is how we are planting. So lucent seed is very small. So if you try and uh, make a hole and try and uh, dig, it won't come out. So it's just better to just do like what we are doing. Just put it on the surface. When it rains, uh, it then covers it up. And yesterday we, we had good rains. We had about 40 mils of rain. Um, so we hope that it continues like that. So that we are able to, to harvest. Now lucerne is great. You know, once it's established, uh, you will have two to three years with it. All you need to do is to just water it. Can you see how small that seed is? It's very, very small and minute. So two to three years while you're just harvesting lucerne supplementing it with our goats i did some videos of how we dry it and then feed it to the goats so yeah so these are the diaries of a goat farmer we thank you for watching remember to subscribe to our channel and i would like to hear from you just put your comments in the comment section and uh, i would love to really hear from you i'll also share the videos next time of of, of if we are successful or not so part of it we we, we planted in lines and then part of it we just scattered. So after this, they then put fertilizer. We also limed the soil. So let us see how it goes. So these are the diaries of a good farmer. Thanks again for watching. And remember, please subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.